Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors. So yeah, so we thought we'd make a quick video for you to show you how we field strip, clean and lube our Chris Vector chambered in 22 long rifle. Now this is by no means a white glove clean or a full disassembly. This is just uh, what we normally do when we get a new semi-automatic rifle before we take it out for the first time to try and avoid some malfunctions maybe. Uh, all, and also after a good old range day, right? Uh, but it's not a white glove clean, it's not a full disassembly. Uh, we don't do those very, very often. All right. So before we get going, let's just go through the admin stuff. I'm wearing my blue gloves. That's to not leave too many fingerprints on the uh, firearm because under these lights, they are highlighted quite a bit and it looks awful on camera. Um, the directions we're going to be manipulating in uh, is all been cleared as safe. Uh, firearm is empty and there's no uh, ammunition around. Okay. All right, so let's get straight into it. So some of the stuff that we use, right? Now, again, there's a hundred different ways of doing this. This is just how we do it, right? So I've got a 22 caliber bore snake. This should be the same one that you would use for any kind of 5.56 or 223. Uh, I would normally use a polymer brush, but unfortunately I cannot find it. So I'm using a soft, uh, looks like a brass brush that came in a cleaning kit. I've got an Allen key here, but I'll show you what I use that for a little bit later however it's probably not going to be completely necessary and i'm going to use my trusty break free clp which i use on all my firearms it's never let me down and a microfiber cloth so that's pretty much what you're going to need so guys one thing about the chris um now obviously the 22 is going to be different from um you know it's bigger brothers and nine millimeter 40 and, and that kind of stuff um but it the disassembly on this is incredibly easy and you're most likely not going to need any tools right so i'm going to work around the camera so it might be a little awkward so i do apologize for that so let's get straight to it all right folks so the first thing that i do is i rack the firearm to make sure that the hammer is in the set position and that just makes it easier for me to disassemble now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to remove three pins you don't need tools for that they're and they're not captive so all you need to do is just push from the one side and pull them out and just put them aside so you don't lose them. That's very important, of course. And there's number two. And here is number three. So once those are removed, you'll notice that the upper and the lower separate very, very easily. All right, interesting factoid, the, fire, uh, the trigger assembly is in the upper that's pretty neat uh, very interesting design that this rifle has all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be removing these two little silver pins right and that's where i use a an allen key uh, but you can probably remove it just by using your fingers right so i'm going to try and do this on camera it's going to probably be a bit awkward but uh, what you need to do is you need to push back on this to uh, remove some of the spring tension and just be careful that guide rod is not captive so when it does come out you're gonna have to uh, have a bit of control over it right and push the pin through and push the other pin through. all right as you can see the whole thing comes out your little guide rod and your spring again do not lose these pins now you can remove your bolt and uh, there is your disassembled Chris Vector. All right, guys, so next thing I do is I take my Break Free CLP and I spray it directly down the barrel. And now I'm gonna leave that for a little bit so it has time to break down the carbon and stuff that built up inside the barrel. So we're gonna put that aside for a little bit and uh, then we're gonna work on the bolt, right? So what I like to do is I like to spray this guy down with CLP I am uh, going to give the guide rod and spring a little CLP as well. And then it's a simple task of taking your little brush and making sure you get all the carbon off of there. Give it a good scrub down. All right, and then we'll put that aside for a little bit. Give 
that a good scrub down as well. And just a gentle one over the spring, just in case there's any build up there. And this little guy should be fine. All right, guys, and now I'm gonna flip her over, give our trigger group a little bit of a brush, the fire control group here. And we are gonna set it aside and we're gonna leave this for five minutes so that the uh, CLP can do its job. All right, folks, now that the CLP has had uh, time to do its job, let's get back to our barrel. So what we're gonna do is, I hope you can see this on camera, but I'm gonna use my boar snake. And it's nice because it's got a weight on the one side. And I'm gonna put it in the barrel here, feed it through until we can see it come out the other side. And then we just pull it through a couple of times. Because the nice thing about these boar snakes, in my opinion, is they have little bristles and stuff on them. So they give you a nice polish and a nice clean barrel once you're done. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush and just give it a little bit of a how's your mother over there. Get some of that gunk off of there. All right. And now we're gonna use our cloth. Give it a bit of a wipe down. Grab our bolt and give that a bit of a wipe down. Get all that carbon stuff. See how dirty that is? Get the carbon off and so on. The nice thing about the CLP, it cleans, lubes, and protects. So it does act as a lubricant as well. All right. Let's get some of that CLP off of there and our fire control group, trigger group here. All right, so guys, that's as simple as that, right? So guys, just before we start reassembling the crisp, what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of CLP, spray it on my uh, glove here, and uh, give the bolt a little bit of a wipe down with it. And the reason why I do that is it's a really good lubricant and I like to run the bolt wet on a semi-auto uh, rifle. Also take note how that op rod and guide rod um, fits into the spring there. And that goes into the little hole there. And also on the other side and that little hole there. I hope you can see that. All right. So let's put her back together. First thing I do is I slide my bolt in and that goes just underneath that little bar there as you can see. So I slide that in. Now the next piece is going to be the spring and the rod. They just slide in like such. Then we're going to get this guy in the little hole. And now we're putting pressure on it again, making sure that the guide rod goes into the hole of the uh, bolt there. So once you got the little holes lined up there, we're going to be putting these two pins back in. I find that's easier from this end. And you can see them sliding in as soon as you got the right orientation there or amount of pressure. They just slide right in there. And there you see, we're good to go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the upper and lower back together again. You'll see it's a very simple process once you line it up properly. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to put our pins back. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. All right, so let's do a quick function check. And the safety works fine. Perfect. 
And what I like to do guys, I like to give it a wipe down on the outside a little bit. Get rid of any CLP splatter that we might get. And there's your Chris, ready for the next range day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, learned something new today. If you did, uh, please leave us a comment down below. Uh, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It's really helpful for us uh, to survive out here on YouTube and uh, be able to make more videos for you guys. So you all stay safe and we'll see you next time.